Hi guys, Paul DIY Guy here, and welcome to my nerd crafting vlog. You may already know, but I am a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. What I really love about it is the way you can get together with some friends and create something that is really unique just to you guys. You you all get your chance to participate in creating the story that is just for you. But there are downsides to this game. Every now and then, this happens. So today I'm gonna show you how to deal with this problem by building your very own dice tower. Check it out. You're going to need the following, a sheet of foam core, the pattern for the foam core printed on regular paper, and the sticker pattern printed on sticker paper, some white glue, a rabbit cutter, that's spelled R-A-B-B-E-T, a ruler, scissors, a utility knife, an X-Acto knife, sewing pins, and some fabric or felt. First you'll need to cut out the pattern, then use it to cut out all the pieces of the foam core. For cutting the holes out of the side pieces, I mark the corners of each shelf with a utility knife, and then use the X-Acto knife to cut out the rest. Try to get your cuts as accurate and as square as possible. You don't have to cut the whole way through in a single cut either. If you take many lighter cuts, it works better. Once you're done, you should have two side pieces, a back piece, a bottom piece, a large and small front piece, two small shelves, one big shelf, and a piece of fabric or felt for the tray. Next, take the rabbit cutter and follow the guidelines on the pattern that are dashed gray lines to cut out the edges. This will give the corners of your box a much nicer finish. To assemble the tower, start by putting the shelves into one of the sign pieces. Then carefully work the other side piece on. Next, put some white glue on either side of the back piece and pin that to the side pieces using some sewing pins. I use three pins per side, top, middle, and bottom to tack this piece in place. Wipe any excess glue off with a Kleenex or paper towel. Repeat this for the large front piece and make sure to line it up with the top of the tower and not the corner of the L shape. The large front piece should be slightly smaller than the edge it attaches to so there's more room for the dice to pop out of the bottom shelf. And again, repeat for the small piece. To put the final and bottom piece on, you'll need to spread glue over one side. You can use a roller or a paintbrush, just try to get it spread out as evenly as possible. Then put the fabric felt as close to the center of your piece as possible and smooth it out. Finally, for assembly, put some glue along the bottom of the tower and pin the bottom piece into place so that the felt is on the inside. Now, I let this dry overnight to make sure it was all gonna stick together well before I took all the pins out, but you probably only need to leave it sit for an hour or two before continuing. Finally, to put the finishing touches on the tower, cut out your sticker pieces, and carefully apply them to the side, front, and back pieces. You can, of course, customize these stickers however you'd like so that you can have a completely personalized dice tower. Enjoy your new dice tower, and never lose a dice to the floor again. Of course, the dice tower is designed to keep the dice on the table. There is no guarantees that you will stop rolling your ones. Now, let's be honest, if you have a really good DM, the ones are just as fun as the 20s. And as always, I try to keep my crafts too broke geeks approved. And if you are looking for some other tips and tricks on how to be a geek on a budget, Make sure to check out our Two Broke Geeks vlog. And don't forget to check out my personal channel, where I put up a bunch of new content on a regular basis. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a fortnight. And until then, stay crafty, my friends.